Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABCs and 123s. It's the Palos Verde Library District's on demand story time with Miss me, Mrs. Henry. Hello, and me, Barney. Yes, Barney and I are here to share some stories and some songs and some fun with you. Are you ready for a story? Are you ready for a story, Barney? Yes! All right. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're ready for a story, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, shout hooray! And then clap your hands again. Oh, are we going to have some fun today, Barney? Yeah! Oh, Mrs. Henry, I was thinking of a rhyme we haven't done in a long time long, long time. Was it roly-poly? Yes! Oh, yes. Roly-poly is one of my favorite rhymes. And gee, Barney, we haven't done it in a long time. Should I show you how to do it? Yeah, because I kind of forgot. Okay. It's always okay to try things over and over again. And what happens if you don't do it right? That's okay, too. It's just fun to try. So let's try roly-poly. You get to roll your hands. Roly-poly up, up, up. Roly-poly out, out, out. Roly-poly clap, clap, clap. Roly-poly in your lap, clap, clap, clap. Oh, that was fun. I think we should do that again, don't you? Oh, good. You do want to do it. Let's give it a try then. You ready? Rolly poly up, up, up. Rolly poly out, out, out. Rolly poly clap, clap, clap. Rolly poly in your lap, lap, lap. And then clap, clap, clap again. Well, you know, Barney and I looked at the weather forecast yesterday. And it said it was going to rain. And then guess what? It didn't rain. But we were ready for rain anyway. So we thought we would do a raindrop song. And if there's not much rain, maybe we need to be thinking about tiny, tiny little raindrops. And you could pretend your hands are tiny little raindrops falling down. Tiny raindrops falling down. Falling down, falling down, tiny raindrops falling down, down to the ground. Splash! Now we could imagine that maybe those raindrops are a little bigger than tiny. They're still little, so we'll just say little. Can you make your hands be a little bigger than tiny, but not really big? I'm ready. Are you Little raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Little raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Splash! Now, wouldn't it be nice if we had a big storm? If we had a big storm, they wouldn't be tiny raindrops. They wouldn't be little raindrops. They'd be my gigantic raindrops. Are you ready to make some gigantic raindrops? Let's give it a try. And gigantic raindrops, we sing it in a low voice. Are you ready? Giant raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Giant raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Splash! Wasn't that fun? Now, of course, you can also, after a rain, maybe put those boots on and go and splash and stomp in a puddle. Puddles can be a lot of fun. Hmm, but I kind of know a story where maybe a puddle was just right, but a little too much rain. Yeah, 
It's a little too much rain. It's the story called In the Middle of the Puddle. And in the middle of the puddle, there lived two friends. Here's one, a frog named Fred. Here he is. Remember, he had a friend. Who is his friend? Oh, it's a turtle. His name is Ted. Fred and Ted, they rhyme. They're such good friends. Now, these two good friends lived in a puddle. Oh, here's their home right here. It's a puddle. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right for the two of them. And every day they looked at the sun and they felt the breeze. And sometimes Fred would say, I love our puddle. And Ted would say, me too. But then one day something happened. Along came a gray cloud. It grumbled and rumbled and it began to rain. It rained and it rained and it rained. And you know, something happened to that puddle. Can you guess? Did you guess that it got bigger? It sure did. It was so big you could call that a pool. A pool of water, not a swimming pool, just a really big puddle. It was still raining though. It rained and it rained and it rained and something happened to that pool of water. Can you guess what happened to it? It got bigger. You guessed it. And now that pool was really more like a lake. Wow, it even has lily pads. Oh, and in the middle of the puddle was a frog named Fred and a turtle named Ted. And that lake was very big. But I still see that cloud there. Do you see it? Can you guess what it is doing? Raining, that's right. It rained and it rained and it rained. And it rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and something happened to the lake. Oh my gosh, you did guess it. Did you say it got bigger? You were right. That lake got so big. Oh my goodness. It turned into an ocean. Look how big this is. Can I make it fit? Oh yes. And in the middle of the ocean was a frog named Fred and a turtle named Ted and all around them was water. I wish it would stop raining, said Fred. Me too, said Ted. And do you know what? Just at that moment, something appeared in the sky. Can you guess? Yes, if you guessed, the yellow sun, you were right. You know what? It just bumped that cloud right out of the sky and it began to shine. It shone and shone and shone and something happened to that great big ocean. It got smaller. It got smaller this time. It got so small, it turned into the lake. But that sun was still, still there shining. It shone and it shone and it shone until that lake got smaller and it turned into a pool. That's pretty small, isn't it? But that's not what Ted and Fred like. So fortunately that sun was still shining. It shone and shone and shone. And what happened to that pool? It got smaller and it turned into the puddle. It's not too big. It's not too small. 
It's just right for that frog named Ted and the turtle named Ted. And they lived in their puddle happily ever after. I mean, why not? And that story is called In the Middle of the Puddle. Wasn't that fun? Move our puddles and ponds out of the way. And it does make me think of rain. And it's true, the forecast said we would have rain and we didn't. They're not always right, are they? But you know what? You can make a little rain at home. Now you need a few things. You need some cotton balls and a sieve or a strainer, ask your mom or dad, and then put the cotton balls in that sieve and put it over something that is clear, like a clear glass pick pitcher or a glass jar. And then take something like an eyedroppers or a bathtub squirter and squirt those cotton balls. And they're gonna get full of water. And do you know what? When they're really full of water, they're gonna start letting water go down through the sieve into the jar. Just like clouds and rain. You can give that a try if you want. In the meanwhile, wow, this was a fast story time. Barney, what are you doing down there? Is it time to say goodbye to our friends? Hmm. Well, it was pretty fun. We have our friends, Fred and Ted, and Mrs. Henry, and most of all, you! Yay! So it is time to say goodbye for now. We could say goodbye and clap our hands, couldn't we? We clap our hands goodbye. We clap our hands goodbye. To all our friends at story time, we clap our hands goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye. To all our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. We blow a kiss goodbye. We blow a kiss goodbye. To all our friends at story time, we blow a kiss goodbye. But we will see you next time. Yay! Thanks for coming, everyone.